road to the White House took a stop in Dallas as GOP presidential hopeful Nikki Haley held a rally at Gillies Dallas after headlining a private fundraiser. Our political reporter Jack Fink was there. Nikki Haley said this country needs a new generation of leadership. She criticized Donald Trump and she told me she wants to cut spending and that border security is a top priority of hers. About 800 people welcomed Nikki Haley to her presidential campaign rally. Her visit to Dallas came one year to the day after she entered the crowded Republican primary. We defeated a dozen of, of the fellas. I just got one more fella I got to catch up to. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Before going out on stage, we spoke with Haley and asked her how she intends to convince Republicans to vote for her instead of former President Donald Trump, who's far ahead in the polls. She says she doesn't believe Trump can beat President Joe Biden in the fall, but that more polls show she can. That's a mandate to go in and really get our country back on track, and that's what we're telling people. But can you get to the general election without winning the primary, though? That's the problem. Right? Well, our goal is to try and be anywhere and everywhere, and that's what we've tried to do. You know, we started with 2% in Iowa. We got to 20%. They said we were down in New Hampshire by 30 points. We got 43% of the vote. Now we're closing the gap in South Carolina. Then we're going to go to Michigan. Then we're going to go to Super Tuesday. Regarding specific policies, what differences do you have with the former president, and why do you think your policies would be better for Republicans? President Trump has surrounded himself with the political elite. But these are the same political elite who've spent like drunken sailors, they've raided Social Security, and they continue to waste taxpayer dollars. Everybody talks about the economy when Trump was president. He put us $8 trillion in debt in just four years. Well, some of that was COVID. 25% of that was COVID. Haley says border security is job number one. She says she liked one part of the bipartisan Senate bill that died, which was tightening the asylum laws. But she criticized it for not including a provision to have migrants remain in Mexico that Trump instituted. What should have happened and what should still happen is Republicans and Democrats need to get in a room and not come out until they fix this. They don't get to go home. This is a national security threat. They should fix it. The problem is you've got Trump telling Republicans don't pass anything until the general election. That's downright dangerous. We can't wait until the general election. Haley was repeatedly heckled by pro-Palestinian protesters last night. At one point, she said this is why the country has to worry about Iran. Early voting begins Tuesday for the March 5th primary here in Texas, which is also Super Tuesday. But her next big primary contest is February 24th in South Carolina, her home state. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS News, Texas.